Hi guys, welcome to the Mydale Library. We are here today with a take and make craft. You can come into the library and pick up everything you need to make these trendy upcycled pop top bracelets. Uh, let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. So it will take about 20 to 28 pop tops. Um, we will have enough in a kit for you. Um, and we're just gonna for now just give out the the silver ones but you can make bracelets out of colored ones if that's what you would like and um, you just have to collect those yourself um, the one thing I will note is that you want to make sure that none of them have this little tab on them you can either we'll try to include make sure that the, none of the ones that we include have them but if they do happen to you can just um, wiggle it back and forth until it comes off or get a pair of pliers there so it just came off super easy so no problem for that um, the other thing that we will be including is a length of ribbon um, if you're making your own at home um, the rule of thumb I guess is that you want to make sure it wraps around your wrist about four times so I've made it sure to include enough that wraps around my wrist so it should wrap around yours um, and the other thing I want to let let you know is that I have taped the ends of um, both ends of the ribbon um, because it makes it a lot easier to thread um, this also if you are making it at home um, creating it at home would work really well with a shoelace as well so that's kind of the idea of taping the ends so let's get started and show you how to make them um, what you're going to do is take one of these you want it upside down and then you're just going to thread each end through one of the holes and pull it through whoops pull it through okay just like that now I'm gonna flip these aside so you can see what I'm doing um, the next thing we're gonna do is grab another one and this time you want to turn it um, shiny side up so that the more rough side is pointing down you want the rough side um, in the middle not on the bottom or the top um, that way the rough side won't touch your skin or catch on a sweater or anything. So now that our ribbon is at the top, we are going to thread it down through both the first top and the new top. Threading it down through there, just like that. Try not to get it too wrapped up. And then with the other length of ribbon, we're going to go do the same thing through the bottom hole. Just like that so you can see why it's a lot easier to do this with that little bit of tape on there so there we got them together there they're a little bit wrinkled just gonna try to straighten them out there okay then you're gonna take another one and this time because we're going on the bottom we want it to be um, the soft side down we're gonna line it up um, there the first few are always gonna be the hardest don't worry um, there we go and now because they're in the bottom we want to come up from the bottom we're gonna again go through the new one and the one before it through the top like that and the other ribbon through the bottom uh, the other thing I'm going to mention before I get too far is that we do want to keep a little bit of ribbon at the very beginning just like this just to make it easy to tie around our wrist so now we've got three with a little bit of ribbon at the front I'm gonna grab another one and this time again soft side up line it up on the top and we're gonna go down through our new tab and the one before it just like so and through and the same thing with the bottom piece of ribbon we're gonna go down through the bottom hole and pull it out there that one looks better not quite so wrinkled and making sure we leave just a little bit at the end there okay Pull those snug and go to the next one and it's just going to be repeating the same thing 
over and over again here. We're going to go up through the new tab and the tab before it and in the bottom part. Okay, just like that. Keeping that one tough. Keeping that loose is probably the hardest part of this. And if you find that you're getting away, it's getting away from you, you can just lay it down and pull it. Make sure it's all lined up nice and pull it snug. Then we're gonna go on to the next one. Again, lining it up and going through the new one and the one right before it. Like that, just gonna unwrinkle that. And this one through there, like that. Oh, that one's gonna wrinkle. There we go. Okay. And another one making sure I flip it over. Always want the rough stuff on the inside. And we're gonna come up through the top one and with the bottom string through the bottom one. All right, now that we've got that together, nice and snug, right? Isn't that neat? and fairly easy. Let's show you the other side. I'm going to show you another way you can do it. Um, this is the, probably the most simple way, but there is the way where you can make it crisscross. So it's super simple, same method. We're just going to, again, take, and you do the same process with the tab, put it on in the same way, but here's where it goes different. The ribbon that was going through the top hole, we're now going to crisscross over and put it through the bottom hole, just like so. Now you're not going to want to do this on the same bracelet that you've been doing the straightaway on. I'm just doing this to show you the different way. And again, come on, line up there. The top, the bottom ribbon is going to go through the top hole and come through. Now we've got a cross instead of a straight. And if we're going with the crossways, again, line up the bumpy side this way. And again, we're going to come through. So this is the ribbon in the top. We're going to bring this ribbon through the criss crisscross and come up through the bottom. So we've got a cross. And then this one is the one in the bottom. We're going to come up through the top. Okay, I'll do another one like that for you. Um, another thing that you can do is if you want to get fancy or you want to wear your bracelet two different ways, is you can go crisscross on the top and straight on the bottom. So that way you're going um, crisscross when you're on this side, but when you're coming up from the bottom, you're just going to go straight and keep it in the same hole. That will give you a crisscross on the top and a straightaway on the bottom. So totally up to you. As you can see, there's a two done in crisscross. We've got three straight ones and two crisscrosses. They both look really neat, I think. And um, you can, I mean, we've got lots of pop tops. If you wanna make more, come on and get some. Um, and ribbon, you can use ribbon, you can use twine, you can use shoelaces. I mean, the options are endless. You can also use like a wire. Um, if you get the right gauge. So have fun with that. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to set this one aside, is, and this is the one that I had made earlier, is how to um, tie it onto your wrist. It's, again, really simple. It gets stuck because of the tape. But all you're going to do is, you, we've left this little um, kind of painful loop at the beginning. That was the part that made it the most difficult so it wasn't so tight. But as you can see, the farther you go, the easier it is to keep it, to keep it tight. So now all you're going to do is take that little loop 
take your extra ends and you're gonna stick them in okay pull it into a bracelet now this one I didn't make big enough for my wrist maybe for a child's wrist it would fit um, but you can use more and make it um, wider or if you want to not have the pop tabs under your arm say if you're writing you can also make the bracelet with just ribbon at the bottom um, so anyways you want to make sure that you leave enough ribbon that you can slide your hand into it when you make it so um, and then all you're gonna do is simply tie it so um, thread it through go under and then put it both ends through the hole and tie it in a knot. It's as simple as that. Uh, this one looks like it'd be too big, so just make sure that you tie it to the right size. You can pull it in and then pull these to tie it tighter. And there's your pop tab bracelet. So like I said, come on into the Mydale Library, pick up your kit, take it home, make it. And don't forget to send me a picture because I'd love to see your guys' artwork. Enjoy!